Canadian prepper here. So today we're going to be checking out the Zendir A8 Power Pack. It's a highly ruggedized and very high capacity power pack, which is geared towards and I think is ideal for survivalists and preppers. So let's check it out. All right, so I've been searching for a high capacity, ruggedized, durable battery pack for some time now. As some of you know, I formerly had the New Trent Power Pack Extreme, which unfortunately the company doesn't make anymore, which is tragic because it was a very good power pack and very rugged. It was waterproof and all the rest, shockproof, crushproof. This 26,000 milliamp, of course, uh, blows it out of the water in terms of capacity. There's still a few things that could see improvement on it, but I think overall this is a rock solid device, which I've been very impressed with in my testing thus far. So some of the key features of this power pack obviously is the high capacity. And this also boasts an 80% energy conversion rate. Now most power packs on the market only can boast the 70% conversion rate. So what that means basically is if you have a power pack that says 10,000 milliamps, Generally speaking, you're only getting 7,000 of those milliamps into your device. The other 3,000 are sort of lost in translation. Now with the Zendure Premium Lithium Ion batteries, you're going to be getting an 80% conversion rate. So you're actually getting a significant amount more than some battery packs which might claim to have a similar amount of milliamps built into them. Another thing I like about it is that it does have the three LED display. As you can see, it goes from 100 down to zero. A lot of these devices only have like the four flashing LEDs. So your knowledge of how much power is left is limited to 175, 50 or 25%. So this pretty much gives you within, I'd say 5% accuracy, how much juice is left in the battery. And I did condition the battery twice. And what I mean by that is you always want to run your battery down all the way to pretty much zero and then charge it all the way up again a couple times before you really get into actively using it quite frequently. And I'm gonna post a link to a really short and succinct video about how lithium ion battery technology works so you can get a better understanding of why you need to do that. So basically the contents of this device include eight 18650 batteries, which as most of these types of power packs with this form factor do. And so you're getting eight uh, 18650 batteries encased in this nice durable case, of course, and uh, all of the circuitry there in order to use them to recharge your devices. So in the case of an emergency, you could potentially crack this open and utilize those batteries. There's some versatility to it in that sense, as opposed to some other battery packs, which you don't have that option because they're not drawing from 18650 lithium ion cells. They have their own sort of customized lithium battery pack inside. Another great thing about this product is that it does have an auto detect feature. So most battery packs require that you turn the device on before it's going to start sending power to your devices. This thing's great. You just plug it in and it automatically starts uh, distributing energy to your devices. So I think that that's pretty awesome. Now this particular device is going to put out 3.1 amps total output. It has four USB ports that can all be used at the same time. However, it's only going to be able to output 3.1 amps so that energy is going to be diffused throughout those four ports. Now all the ports are 2.1 amp ports, meaning that you're going to be able to do fast charging for most of your electronic devices if you're only plugging one or two of them in at one time. Another great feature of this device is that it has a charge through feature. So you can actually charge your stuff while you're charging the battery. So that's pretty cool. It also has a very smart charging interface. So you don't have to worry about the device itself overcharging and it's going to calibrate its own charging of other devices uh, on the basis of how much energy that those uh, devices are drawing from it. So you don't have to worry about it overcharging certain devices. Another great thing about this device, and this is great for me, because there will be periods where I won't use these things that often, uh, particularly in the winter time. And basically this is gonna maintain 95% of its charge after six months of no use. And it looks like my phone battery is dying as I'm recording this, so I'm gonna plug it in. I got 21 left on there. That's probably going to give me about one and a half charges of my 3000 milliamp smartphone, which is just excellent. And uh, based on my testing so far, 
Uh, the amount of milliamps that they're claiming are in there are definitely in there. To give you an example, I believe I charged uh, my phone, my wife's phone, both twice, and I charged a full iPad which is a lot of juice. The iPad is about the equivalent of four smartphones. I'm gonna post a link to the Zendur's video explaining what makes their product unique up in the corner here. Now with this battery, you're gonna get 500 charge cycles. Its optimal working range is between minus 20 and 65 degrees Celsius. It has multiple protection systems, so protection against overheating, electrical overload, short circuiting and incompatible devices. It has a one year warranty. The body of it is made of a composite plastic which is reinforced with these supportive ridges so it's supposed to be drop proof and crush proof. They have a video of them driving a car over it which I think is cool but honestly I still would have liked to see an aluminum body or even a titanium body. I know that gets a little pricier but even just an anodized aluminum body. Something about plastic just isn't that appealing uh, especially if they're going to do plastic at least encase it in some rubberized coating or something like that so it just is a bit more drop proof right now I just still don't trust it to drop it from a meters distance they could have went just one step further and found a way to waterproof this because as you can see the only actual opening into the device is the four USB ports so I think it's kind of tragic that they didn't try to get some IPX8 or at least IPX6 and above rating on this device because they really could have they wouldn't have had to go that much further than what they have right here. So uh, that's something I would like to see improved in future versions. I think if they could do that, this really is gonna be a real winner. But honestly, right now in its current form, I do think it's well worth it. And I should say that this thing has 500 charge cycles on it, which I just think is excellent. It's gonna be very hard to use this uh, for those 500 charge cycles. This is something you're probably only gonna need to charge, even if you were using it regularly, once every few days so if you do the math on that once every few days times 500 you know this is going to last you for many many years and i think it's going to be long obsolete before you have to run through those 500 charge cycles but that does speak to the quality of the batteries that are being used here because not all lithium batteries can boast 500 charge cycles so that's pretty awesome now there are some other power packs that i'm going to be reviewing in the near future that are similar to this and I'm choosing only to review the ruggedized power packs because for preppers and survivalists, what we want the most is something which is built to last, it's built tough. So stay tuned for more prepper and survivalist tech reviews of novel and offbeat innovations in 2016. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper O. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.